um, uh, okay, just briefly before, before, before we let you go. I know you have not rested. A lot of things have been happening there. Uh, I, I, you know, um, you were in Calabar. I will see the future. What, what, what future did you see? I didn't even know that you see. I go find you. You were in Nigeria. You didn't let. Well, I brought you down to the studio. You, I mean, you just did that and then you disappeared. Uh, but then let's let's see. This is yes. This is not. This is not happy with you definitely. So I will let you know that one. You apologize to her later. Uh, but then what future did you see? What future did you see right there? In Calabar, I know uh, uh, you, you guys are doing marvelously well, and I know we we'll still come together as a team. It, it is written in the stars. Yeah, thank you. You know, over the last three months, we've um, been doing these uh, MTN Athletics Championships. We had four all over the country, starting in Asaba, which was actually uh, also the AFN National Trials for the African Games. Uh, moving on to Ibadan, then Jos, and then Calabar, which wrapped up on Friday. Um, we are really witnessing the future of, of Nigerian athletics. Uh, we're very excited because it's a format that we saw in Jamaica 10, 11 years ago when we yeah. were starting making of champion. We came and saw the champs in Jamaica. Um, they have four age groups from under 20 down to under 13. Uh, they call them class one, two, three, and four. And I knew since then that this is something that had to happen in Nigeria, right? So what the MTM champs is doing is transforming Nigerian youth competition from one age group that everyone has tried to fit into to three different age groups. We have the cadet under 14 and the youth under 17, which is strictly for secondary schools only. That just makes sure that, you know, we get at, um, kids of the right age and we make sure that they stay in school so they can compete. Um, then we have the juniors under 20, which is for all other teenagers. And for this second season, we added the seniors so which literally means that there is something for everybody, about 90 track and field events across eight, four age groups. If you're 11 years old or if you are 25 years old, there is something for you at the MTN Athletics Championship. So we, um, we're seeing the future. You know, we are recruiting, um, I think we selected 10 or 12 athletes from the season one. We're about to select another 10, the top 10 from season two. Um, and we expect to see these athletes um, I think at the Olympics in 2028, at the World Juniors in 2026, um, a lot of them will win scholarships to the U.S. in the next year or two. It's really a, it's really a culmination of what we've done over the last decade. Um, but with the, you know, with the title sponsor involved, we now have a bit more muscle to scale what we're doing. You know, over the last seven years, um, MOC athletes have won 70, over 70 national international medals. Twelve of them are in the U.S. collegiate system. Um, and now with this program scaling it, um, I mean, all bets are off, you know, in terms of how far Nigeria can go in athletics. And we're still at ground zero right now. Uh, it's always refreshing speaking with you. Uh, you are looking fresh for somebody who didn't, I didn't also sleep in. I told you, we're all there, trying to be there. But then uh, with all the work I flying up and down. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think we should ask her to ask him to go and let him go and sleep yeah, a bit. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, go he, and, he needs it. Go <laughs> and, you are, the thing is that you are looking fresher than me. That is just my, that's just my problem. I don't understand this. <laughs> Bambo, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll call on you yeah. and then uh, so that, I mean, we could keep on saying, the road to Paris, you take, you, you know, so that you take us, you take us along. Thank you, Bambo. Thank you so much. Thank you. All the best. Yeah.